Today we're gonna be crash testing Lego cars with the Lego Crash Test Simulator. Here we go. And we're gonna give them official ratings based on how well they can protect Ooblot, our Lego Crash Test dummy. Also, this video is sponsored by Shopify, but more on them later. First, I need to actually build a Lego crash test simulator. We're gonna have this thing 160 studs long. So the first step is to build a runway. <laughs> All right, so there we have not even half of this thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a gap in between, then we're gonna have a track that runs through this with a little prong that'll stick up. That'll push the car into the object we're gonna be colliding it with. So I'm gonna flip all this over and then lock it together in two halves. Then we can put tiles on the top. not going to fit on my table. We're gonna build up walls underneath this using gray bricks, so it'll actually lock together and be super strong. But right now, wow, oh God. There's our runway, as you can see. This is the biggest thing I've ever built in brick science history. Now we need to lock it together using tile. Okay, so now that we have our runway, we need to build up walls and really add plates underneath this. So we're gonna build a brick built base for this to actually make it sturdy, and for that we're gonna need a lot of bricks. Luckily, I ordered about 4,000 of them. So we got a lot of bricks, which means this base is going to be sturdy and tall. So let's dump these into boxes so we can actually do this easier. <laughs> Check this out. Bunch of two by two bricks, bunch of two by four, four bins of two by four bricks. A lot over here too. The next step is to flip these over like this and start building a brick wall along the outside that is too high so we can lock it together and really make this stable. And then we'll start working on the mechanism on the inside. Let's start by simply Look at that. That's a lot stronger, am I right guys? Now I'm gonna take my Technic bricks, and on the inside of this, I'm just gonna add a bunch of Technic pieces that are too wide, so this will really be locked together here. So what I'm doing is I'm overlapping each one of these bricks so that none of them are by themselves. So you can see each layer is offset by at least two studs, and then on the outside, I'm creating this cool arch design, but this is pretty easy so far. Now we can repeat that and do it again on the other side of the track. That way we can connect it and then add the track that's going to actually push the cars towards the object. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is only like three quarters of it. We actually have to build one more section right here, which is a sturdy brick box that will basically hold up all the weight it's gonna be shoving into it. As you can see, if we flip this over, we have a wall right here. We're gonna create a little track using a plate that goes across and tiles. So we need to create kind of like a little cart that'll go across and slide in between here. And we'll put a plate underneath it with tiles. So that's the next step. Would you quit fighting over there? We know the area that we need. Actually, I don't. So let me imagine. <laughs> we know that we have eight studs wide to work with. So underneath. And then in the middle of that, we need a post to go straight up that will push the car. So if we grab one of these, that is six wide. So if we put wheels on each side of this, we should be able to make a little cart. Let's grab our tires. I have a lot of tires <laughs> and wheels. Wow. So we'll just connect these like this and then we'll connect the wheels like this. Just like that. We have this thing in here, and this will be the part that actually pushes the car. We can add stuff to the top of this, but the important thing is that it sticks through the base. Now if we put this in here, put in this little pin here. So now we just need to work with this to make sure it can slide within this thing. So let's build this up to be like the actual track. Basically that'll just help us test it without having to build the entire thing. So we'll just test a little portion of it. Let's see if this works. So we have our track here and this rides right in there. You can see, like that's a good fit, right? So this will be underneath one side of our track, and then we'll just build the same thing on the other side. This will be smack in between like that. I think this is good, honestly. This this looks really good right here. So we're gonna take this track design now, we're gonna build it on both sides of the bottom, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to simply tie a rope or a string to this, and I did not leave room for that, so whoops. Now we can tie a rope to this part. And then at the end of the track, underneath the wall, we're gonna have a pulley that's attached to a heavy weight. And so when we release it, this thing is just gonna zip across and push whatever is in front of it with it. Let's take this track design and build it underneath both sides of the track and then connect them together. Now it's gonna do the same thing over here. And then it will be sort of done. Let's attach these two things together. Grab this one. This one has the thing on it. I want to make sure it's good and 
tight. Oh my gosh. Like that. And then this next to this plate, like that. Oh. If we slide the track piece in, please work. Basically, that's working, like, especially in this area. On top of this area, we're going to add the wall that we're gonna crash into and a pulley somewhere attached to this. So we need to create a wall stronger than anything you've ever seen for these cars to crash into. On the front of the wall, we can attach different shapes like triangles or circles to kind of simulate different kinds of crashes. So here we have some plates and this will extend it by two. So this will be the end of the runway right here. So let's start building. Okay, so here it is. And we even have a little window that I just added to put a camera. So this will go right here. So let's attach it to the giant thing. <laughs> Looking at it thinking, how am I gonna get it over here? There's a the ceiling. Look this. Put this right here. That. Cool. Have that technique down there. Now, just lock this in. You need to figure out how to put a pulley right here without it just falling down. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking this, which is a metal Lego axle, and just this thing right here, which is just basically a wheel. And I'll put this right there. Now we'll cover that up and really sturdify this entire area. Hopefully the rope will just not tear this entire thing apart. Hopefully. So we have a rope and we have a bean bag on the floor. What we want to do, we want to put this thing about right here, probably where we want it to stop. We want to tie it the length of where the floor is. So as soon as the weight hits the bean bag, we want this to be right here. We need to thread this rope through so it goes over the white thing. Like that. I'm gonna get the pulley down there. So now that's where we're gonna tie the weights. All right, so we're gonna use 10 pounds here. We have the bean bag simply so that it doesn't damage the floor, and that's where we're gonna tie it right there. Okay. Now, with that lifted. Oh, that wasn't that bad actually. Does this have a lot of power? That does have a lot of power. Wow. This is gonna work. So the next step, we need to build a couple little rams right here that we can clip into this wall, and then we're gonna build the cars and actually test this thing out. I'm really excited. Let's do this. So I'm gonna make some rams that we can put on the front of this thing. But while I'm doing that, I wanna tell you about this video sponsor, Shopify. Shopify is an all-in-one commerce platform that makes it easy for business owners and entrepreneurs to start selling their products online and in person. Setting up a Shopify store is literally as easy as this. That literally took me like 45 minutes. I put my product up on Shopify and boom, business. There's millions of merchants using Shopify in 175 different countries, which is crazy to think about. About three or four years ago, I made this Lego fidget spinner set. I tried selling them. I think I sold like one, <laughs> but I didn't know about Shopify. Check it out. Now you have a Lego fidget spinner. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is I just made a Shopify store and it was really easy. And I'm actually selling a limited drop of these Ooblot crash test dummies. There's only gonna be 20 available for you guys. And six of them are gonna be the actual ones used in the crash tests. And they're gonna have numbers on the back of them. So you can check out the second link in the description down below and get yours before they sell out. Shopify is like a portal. You take a product, put it in the portal and money comes out the other side. Okay, so there's a little more that goes into it, but Shopify is a great tool for entrepreneurs to start their business journey. So if you're ready to start your business selling used forks or custom knit sweaters, you can click the first link in the description down below to sign up and you'll get a 14 day free trial, which is a pretty fire deal. Huge thanks to Shopify for empowering entrepreneurs and sponsoring this video. Now let's go crash some cars. All right guys, here we are. We are all set up. We are ready to go. We have seven Lego cars to crash test. So let's build the first one. All right, the first set we're gonna build is the Lamborghini Countach. The sets we're gonna be building are gonna get bigger and bigger. So this is just what we're starting out with. All right, we finished the first set. Let's go crash this thing. All right, we've got our eye protection and we have our Lamborghini Countach and we're gonna put this right over here. The first thing we have on this plate here is we have a triangular ram. We're gonna launch this thing in three, two, one. That was actually so awesome. So this guy just got completely destroyed. This is how the car fared. Um, I'd honestly give this one a one star. This guy, 
He has no clutch power. He would have just literally launched out of the thing. Yeah, one out of five stars. That was honestly terrible. <laughs> All right, so Ella is helping me reset it because it takes two people. Because I have to actually lift the weight. Don't pull yet. I have to actually lift the weight. We upped it to 15 pounds. So she's putting that pin through there. That's a steel Lego axle. Oh, gosh. All right, we are set. The next car we're going to crash is the Fiat 500. I'm very excited to build this one, mostly because of the colors and the scale. All right, so as you can see, we've got our test dummy in there, right there. This is number one. We also have our camera. Which is recording. So we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> All right, and this triangle thing we're gonna replace for this, which is just a tiny obstacle. We can just put it right here to see what happens. In three, two, one. Yeah, that <laughs> that is not a good crash test rating. This thing just absolutely got destroyed. Guys, our crash test dummy, he's split in two. <laughs> Did not fare super well. The entire hood is gone. I'm gonna probably give that one like a two out of five stars. Like it just wasn't very good. I'd, I'd redesign this car if it was meant to be used. But just look at how this wall, this thing just took the brunt of it and just pushed it into this wall. I wonder if we can just snap these back in. I'm glad we added all that reinforcement right there, but that looks like it was kind of dangerous. Look at that. It just kind of pushed this directly into the wall. Very interesting. <laughs> Let's crash the next one. The next set we're gonna build is the Ford Mustang. I think this one is going to crash super cool and it also has a lot of blue pieces, which is a plus. Okay, to be completely honest, I built this the other day because I got a little bored. But look at it, it's beautiful. This is the Ford Mustang, as you can see. It has opening doors and opening top. Real steering, real working steering. All right, let's go crash test this thing. We're gonna take off the hood, actually, and we're gonna put our second test dummy. I made him a little bit too big, but that was kind of the original design, so there's not much I can do about it. Also, most of these guys split in half. <laughs> All right, Lego Mustang versus Crash Testing Simulator in three, two, one. Okay, so, so it hit the wall. I think it kind of ricocheted off of the triangular part, but this whole thing came off. The driver looks like he just got impaled by this thing. Just look at the carnage of this thing. The driver, the crash test dummy, just totally got impaled by the steering wheel. But hey, he is in one piece, so we gotta give him that. But the side of this thing is just absolutely destroyed. Given that it didn't really hit the ram, I'd probably give this one a better rating than the other one, so probably like a three. Let's give it a four out of five, because it didn't do horrible. And the driver was completely safe. He just got chest impaled. The next set we're gonna build is the Volkswagen Beetle. This thing looks super awesome. Here we go. Here we have the beautiful yet simplistic Lego Mini Cooper. Oh gosh. Actually, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. You can open the doors, you can take the top off. There's a cooler. Also, you can see in the front, there's an engine. Okay. So we'll see how well this does. I have no idea if he's gonna fit, but we'll try. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna put the top back on and just bend his head down because we're nice people. <laughs> Let's see how this one goes. It's really heavy. Crash test Beetle in three, two, one. Okay, so what I'm noticing is that it's actually doing better in the frame than I expected. I thought the hoods would just crumple. Yeah, I mean, basically the top just popped off and the rest of this thing is good to go. Oh, did we lose a door? Okay, we lost the door. <laughs> the driver could have been ejected out the side. But look at the test dummy. He's, he's like, oh God, this place is great, yeah. I'm gonna give this one a four. We haven't had a perfect rating yet, but I feel like they're all gonna break to some extent. Four out of five stars for the Beetle. That was really cool. The next set we're gonna build is the 007 Aston Martin. I am super excited for this set. And that is it, the Lego Aston Martin from 007. Honestly, this thing is super cool, you guys. First, you can eject the seat by simply pulling on this thing back here and releasing. That'll open the hood and then pop that out. That's a really cool thing. The doors open, the trunk opens. I'm very sad that we're going to have to crash this into a wall. <laughs> Probably rebuild it after. Let's crash this one and see how it does. This is a very small vehicle, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure you're gonna fit in here. Um, we do have this special feature that ejects the seat. So maybe we'll just get rid of that. Put you right in there. You enjoyed in there, little guy. 
feet are up on the dash, but he does fit in there. Now we will just slide this back into place, and we're ready to go. In three, two, one. <laughs> Dang, that did not do horrible, to be honest. <laughs> This is really not bad at all, you guys. You can see the crash test dummy in there. He's kind of sideways, but we kind of put him in there like that. Look at this damage here. This is, for the front, fared really, really well. You can see there's a little ding right there above the U. The driver is kind of safe in there. He didn't fly out the windshield or anything, so I'm gonna say this one, this one gets like a three out of four stars. Just mainly because the engine would have exploded because the engine's in the front in this thing. The next set we're gonna build is the T2 camper van. This is a Volkswagen. Hopefully this thing should just and be pretty cool. So let's do it. Let's see what's in here. All right, guys, here we have the T2 camper van. This thing is honestly awesome. Check this out. It has a little thing to give it more room. I forget what that's called. But then on this side, check this out. Pushing that button. And then you pull the door back, and this is fully decked out, you guys. So let's see how well it explodes. I'm going to take this off and replace it with this. Maybe this thing right here. I just want to see if it kind of bends against it or anything. Because it might just go Take our crash test dummy number five. Put our crash dummy in the cabin on the couch right there. How you doing, crash dummy? You gonna make it? He says he'll be okay. Okay, so he is in there. We're gonna test this in three, two, one. Oh my, that was so cool. completely destroyed the wall where the GoPro was. Oh, dude. So if you look at the inside of the camper here, this guy fell off the chair, but he's still okay. I mean, obviously he's not a person, but, but look how the camper fared. This thing barely broke at all. Like, honestly, the only thing that broke was this bottom part of the bumper, and the rest of it is completely fine. You can see the chair flipped down because there's no clips on it, so that can be a hazard. Also, the door came clean off. Where is the door? Where did that even go? Oh, it's all the way back here. <laughs> I found the door. Look at that, it hit the barrel and the whole wall just completely got destroyed. It barely broke apart at all. So five out of five, that's that's a great rating for this thing, wow. All right, I just gotta rebuild this real quick. The next car we're gonna build is the Porsche 911. I'm honestly super excited for this car because it looks super awesome. It just looks really cool and that means we're gonna be even more sad when we crash test it, but I'm hoping it'll get a good crash. Check it out guys, this is how the steering works for this car. This one has actual working steering and it's connected to the steering wheel. We're on back five out of 10 and I'm gonna keep building because I'm really excited. <laughs> This is the Porsche 911 Targa. This thing is beautiful. The curves on this thing are incredible. How they got these shapes is just astounding. This is definitely my favorite build of all of them. Let's take this and crash test it and see how well it does. All right, I'm very sad to announce that I'm gonna have to crash my favorite car of this entire video. And I'm super sad to crash it, but we're gonna load it up here. We're gonna use this block here because it seems to work the best. I don't know if they actually use spikes, but I'm just gonna put those above it because why not? We have crash dummy number six. We can just load him in there. We can't have this top piece on, so I'm just gonna take that off. Let's do this, let's see how it goes. I'm kinda nervous, because I really want this one to stay in one piece. An equal part of me wants to see it explode, so. Porsche 911 in three, two, one. Hmm. The whole wall kinda got destroyed there, but let's see what happened. Our crash dummy's still in his seat? You guys, the car is perfectly fine. A little piece of the bumper broke off, but this thing performed amazing. This is a 10 out of five. This is the best crash rating for a car that you can get. Comment down below which one of these you think did the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, maybe check out one of these two. These are videos I've worked super hard on and I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching. See ya.